chasing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine Guys, every position I was moving to in the car park was like dead dark and I was like, what is the matter with me camera? Why does every car parking space that I'm going into make it look dead dark? And I was like, thought it was in the sun. Anyway, it turns out I had my bloody sunglasses on so the camera looked really dark. An idiot. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope life's treating you good. And yeah, I have been loving life recently. The sun is just making us very, very happy. And overall, over the last few months, my mental health has just been great. I feel like my life's been great. Yeah, I'm just really happy recently, which I'm happy about. And I hope you have been feeling the same and I hope the little bit of freedom that we've all now got from the lockdown restrictions being lifted slightly. It's just, yeah, I hope it's helped you out because I know it's definitely something that's helped me out. Anyway, with that being said, I have not been to Poundland in a long time. It's been months and months since I went into Poundland and honestly I feel like every time I was going to Poundland in my head something come up and I never ended up going and I don't live like too close to a Poundland like B&M and Home Bargains is close out of where I live than a Poundland so if I need anything I tend just to go to them shops but sometimes they just don't cut it sometimes you need stuff for a quid that's just what you need in life so I have told myself that I'm not allowed to buy much there's a few things I want. I really want the Ace Bleach Cleaner. If I can get a bottle of that, I'll be happy. And I've said, like, me limit's £5. That's all I'm allowed to spend if I spend that. Because I just go in and buy shit that I don't need. So, do you reckon, pause this video now, do you reckon I'll be able to, like, not buy anything? Because I don't really need anything. Apart from the Ace Cleaning Solution, I would like that. So, that's all I'm allowing myself to spend. But I don't know. Because I say, because I haven't been in months, I might go in and they might just have so much stuff, and then I'll probably break the limit of only being allowed to spend five pounds. So I don't know. But anyway, we're going into Poundland. We're going to see what's new in Poundland. We're going to see what kind of stuff they've got in. Are we vibing with them? Are we feeling Poundland at the minute or not? That's what we're going to do. And I'm actually really excited because, like I said, I've not been in a while. So I feel like there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff that I've just not seen yeah i am uploading this video on a friday so happy friday to everybody i hope you are excited for the weekend okay so i have seen that they've got this xc uh, xhc range of shampoo and conditioners in and it kind of reminds us of the body shop one so they have a strawberry flavor and then they've also got a banana conditioner as well which is actually more vegan but they haven't got any of the shampoos of the banana one left but they do have a hair mask oops at the back there so yeah it definitely looks like the body shop range though i wonder if it's any good seen this for two pound it's a root retouch up so they've got a dark brown one and a brown one this seems very intriguing oh and a black one as well so yeah i wonder if that's any good they have some really nice sets of false nailers in so they've got these ones in collaboration with fern mccann in diva but then they also have these ones here which are by a brand called og in like a red color and then they've got a dark maroon color for a pound as well and then the fern ones actually come in like a dark blue color um, which I've never seen in Poundland before. And then they've also got these little sets. So they have a lip and nail set, which is red. I really like that. And then they've also got a little eyeshadow palette and mascara set. So that's so cute. If someone's like just getting into makeup or playing around with it, I think they're dead cute. Oh, they've also got a nude set as well. Nail polish and little lip gloss. I love that. Actually, actually, yeah, it is a lip gloss, not a matte lipstick. This OJ brand is a new one, which I've never seen before, but they have a two pack of jet black eyeliners as well for a pound. And then they've got this like this little reusable beauty pump which you can put your own liquid in and like pump the top with the cotton pad for a pound. They've got a Derma V10 avocado sheet mask and then they have this sheet mask here as well which is aloe vera, green tea and chamomile. Then they have three packs of lip balms all for a pound so they have an original, a strawberry and an aloe vera. They've actually got such a big range of makeup brushes in at the minute. They never used to have this much but they've got like eyeshadow brushes, foundation brushes, powder brushes not like this with like a sponge on the end they have such a huge range all for a pound oh god guys look at that swimsuit new and improved fit with a belt i love it it's leopard print as well and it's only 10 pound that is so cute and then they have a range of flip flops which i like that little beach throw over say i like that but i would prefer it without the bling and then they have such a huge range of flip flops for 
one pound so they're 10 pence more expensive than primarks i'm sure i bought them last year i'm sure i did anyway yeah loads of flip-flops them little leopard print shorts are a bit of me i feel like i need them i feel like i really want them look at that little leopard print dress it like ties in at the back that would be so cute on the beach like to throw over your bikini but i'm not really going anywhere so i feel like i don't need it a very extravagant little floral two-piece with some like long trousers and little spaghetti vest top. I feel like me Nana would buy that then pass it on to me because she wouldn't wear it. I feel like she would do that. They have these like wide leg trousers in and the material is so soft and they've got a tie like drawstring and they're wide leg. I have loads of trousers like this but I feel like they're so cute and they actually go up to like a size 22 as well so such a huge size range. They've got these which are like in a black and white leaf print and then they have this like keychain leopard print trouser but them black ones i feel like are so soft that they'd just be so comfortable to wear but i'm trying to stay away from wearing black like literally i always wear black but they are like so nice how much are they i'm sure they were only eight pounds yeah eight pound i feel like i need them oh god demi that's definitely going over your five pound limit darling such a cute range of like open toe slippers i really like these black furry ones with like the daisy print on the bottom then they have some white ones and pink ones and then like peachy pink ones and then they have some like full cover ones as well that are like fluffy in different colors they have this gorgeous beige cardigan in which has got like little tortoise shell buttons for eight pounds this is beautiful i really like it and they actually have it in like a blue color as well and then they have this like leopard print mac which is very similar to the one i picked up in new look this one is 10 pound i really like that and then i also really like that little denim skirt for 10 pound and them little shorts i love the pattern on them they have so many cute clothes in cute pair of gym leggings that have got like a pattern down the middle down the side of them for seven pound then they have like a grey vest top well actually it's kind of like a greeny grey and then they also have the matching leggings as well that's such a cute little set for the gym they actually have some fabulosa all-in-one sprays in my pound land but they're two pounds so they've got the lemon sherbet the wild rhubarb and then the silver shades one which i've never seen anywhere before so i don't know if this is exclusive to pound land um and then they have some of the pink stuff cleaning products as well this looks so cute by dunlop it's a dashboard sponge i'm presuming to get all of the like dust and that off your dashboard this looks so handy and definitely something i need and they're actually only a pound as well oh my god there she is the ace cleaner for white i've been dying to get my hands on some more of this product so i'm gonna pick two up for myself and one for my dad because he actually loves it as well okay the five pound reel has had to be scrapped because yeah i've spent more than five pound and three of that's on ace cleaning products so sorry but i'm not very good at this game Today. This is really interesting. It's a um, candle with stand, but apparently it's a repellent for bugs, and it's in the garden section. And they've also got tea lights as well for a pound, which I think is really interesting. I wonder if it actually does like keep the bugs away because that would be so handy. I really like this meal planner. It's 80 pages. You can write the date on, and then it's got all the days a week, and then it's got like lunch, dinner, breakfast, snacks. I think that's so cool, especially if you're trying to like watch what you're eating and stuff as well. It'll really like give you. Yeah, a good idea to plan your meal. Also have like the shopping list version as well, which is really cool. But yeah, I usually put my shopping list on my phone, but then my phone dies, so this would actually be really handy. They have a cute range of mugs in, in like colour block colours, and they're quite a decent size as well. So they've got like a lime green, a navy, a purple, and then like kind of like a minty off-white colour. And um, they also have like matching bowls. They have quite a good kitchen wear range. That was the biggest flop of a come shop with me ever. The shop had like dead loud music on, so like I couldn't really like record because I would have got copyrighted um, and you wouldn't have been able to hear what I was like saying about the product anyway. Um, but yeah, they had quite good stuff in, so I'm gonna do a mini haul now and show you what I picked up because I spent more than the five pound Inev inevitably inevitably also can i just say about my speech i had someone comment on my last b&m haul video saying that like my speech is really bad and that um i don't know how to pronounce any words and why do i upload when i can't pronounce words and like i literally talked about it a few videos ago but if you didn't see that video i am really struggling with my speech at the minute and it's not because i'm russian like i am speaking as slow as i possibly feel i can without sounding like too slow but 
I don't know my speech has been really bad recently and it's something that I've talked about and it's a genuine problem that I'm having so I would just prefer if we didn't comment about it um because I know my speech is getting worse and I don't know why and I haven't been to the doctors about it but maybe it's something that I should go about but yeah I feel like it's just a lockdown thing I feel like I just need a few months of like actual socialization and hopefully it'll get better if not then I probably should go to the doctors because I am getting like headaches and that as well. So maybe I actually need to go to the doctors. Anyway, I want to show you what I picked up in Poundland. So I picked up some of their knickers because they had such a good range of knickers. So I picked up this three pack because I just wanted some like period type knickers. But this is like a gorgeous peachy paisley one. And then you get a lace one and then just like a black pair. They've got all this weird tissue on. I don't know why. I then also picked up some ibuprofen because we recently used the last ones that we had in the house and then just some paracetamol as well. I actually prefer the capsules, is it cap capsules over the tablet form ones so I try and get them where I can. I also picked up one of these little things that I think I showed you in the shop. It's the Dunlop cockpit sponge. Cockpit, or is it for planes? Oh, cockpit and dashboard. Also, it's called cockpit and a dashboard with fragrance. Oh, they were all different colours. And I thought it was just the colour of the lid, but it must have been different fragrances. And I've picked up lavender, which probably wouldn't have been my preference, but never mind. It's worked. <laughs> oh, whoa, guys. This is kind of cool. Let us show you this. Okay, so you pull your sponge off. And then, he has like a really dusty part of mine. And you just like sponge it down how cool and it is leaving like some sort of like a liquid thing <gasps> oh my god i actually like i'm way too amused about this i am like well in adult life now oh wow this is so amusing i love it um, tampax this is the tampax compact um just these ones here but i like the ones with the applicator and i am running out and i know last time i think i bought pads or was it Tampax? A few people had asked, do I use the menstrual cup still? Because if you didn't say I did, a week testing out a menstrual cup. And I don't use it still. I really just didn't get on with it. Um, I tried it again after that week. So the next time I was on my period, I tried it. And I just hated it. I hated the getting it out process so much that I just didn't find it really that comfortable. So I do prefer to use tampons at the moment and pads. Um, but yeah, so this is the one that I use. A pair of knickers. These are just the short and co knickers polka dot i just really needed some more like period everyday knickers because i've got lots of like sexy bougie thongs but i just don't have enough of the basic knickers people always comment when i say knickers so do people not call underwear knickers if you're not from the U if you're not from um where am i from <laughs> oh god if you're not from if you're not from newcastle do you not call underwear knickers because to me knickers is just the normal term for these but anyway never mind oh my god my favorite so these are the Belvita tops with cocoa hazelnut they're actually accidentally vegan as well and i love 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 them they're so nice they're like a biscuit and then they've got like a chocolate center oh they're delicious i love them so much and then also picked up another pack of knickers jesus christ i was stocking up but look how cute these ones are they've got like a black one with daisy prints then you get like a lacy pair and then you get a yellow pair as well i am literally just like holding up knickers in my car and there's a man leaning against his car opposite us and he's just looked at us oh god how didn't i realize what i was doing was quite bad like he's probably thinking who was she showing her knickers to some biscoff spread so me and sean love this it's beautiful on pancakes and toast biscuits if you want a little taste and we recently used up the one that we had but we actually got the aldi own version last time and it was so nice exactly the same but i'm not going to aldi for quite a while probably so i just thought i'd pick this one up it's only a tiny little jar but it was only a pound so i picked up this it's the best thing if you haven't tried this honestly try it you'll love it ease cleaner i love this stuff so my dad introduced us to it and he was like because i was asking him and i was like dad how can i get like my whites to be really white because his are always so white and i was like what do you use and he's like oh, i use this like bleach laundry bleach called ace and he always got it from b&m but could never find it um and i was like well where am i gonna get some from but anyway on the last come shop with me when i couldn't find it in b&m people said that poundland sold it and also save us so <laughs> i got it um so yeah it's triple protection is for white it's a laundry bleach i bought my dad one as well because he gives the last to his and i know he really likes it as well so i got him one and then i bought two bottles for myself just to stock up 
but yeah that is all i got so i didn't get loads but i did spend i think because i bought the knit guys which were like obviously more than a pound i ended up spending a bit more than i usually would so i spent like i'm not sure i think it was 20 pound i think not too bad i mean double triple fourth duple <laughs> what i was meaning to spend which was five pound but to be honest i did go a bit happy when i seen that they had the ace because I really wanted this so i bought three of them which was three pounds so yeah i did buy a bit more than intended but never mind i don't think i've done too bad considering i hadn't been in poundland for that like a long time i don't feel like i've done like really bad okay i was gonna go into asda because in the industrial park i'm sitting in there's an asda but on the way home there's a sainsbury's and i never ever ever go to sainsbury's like never go to sainsbury's i just don't go to sainsbury's basically um because well really there's not one like two near us it's not four but it's just like there's a morrison's near us and a tesco and to be honest i am a bit of a tesco girl at the minute i love tesco so i just never really end up in sainsbury's but on the way home i thought for we'll change it up i'll go to sainsbury's because we need something for tea we'll, do, we'll fancy something just like sean said he fancies either for heaters or like a mince and dumpling so i'm gonna see if i can get either of them for him not really sure what i fancy and i don't know what the vegan range is like so i thought well i'll just have a look and because the pound land shop with me was a bit of a disaster then i'll take his into sainsbury's as well because i think you deserve that and sean's mom goes to sainsbury's all the time and she said the homeware section's really nice so we'll have a look there as well so we'll go to sainsbury's guys look at that bars i'm in sainsbury's now i really love that bars with a face on for 14 pound and they also have a miniature version for six pound they have a big glass mirror there for 25 pound they actually have such a cool range look at that 14 pound with the plant how cute they have such a beautiful range of home stuff wow look at that reed diffusers that look nice the little vase with a gold elephant and a plant look at all the fake plants i'm absolutely loving these i mean it is quite expensive because i feel like some of the boho stuff you could get in b&m but like this is still beautiful look at that like fake flowers wow how pretty this is so cute a set of three round mirrors for 45 pound this is like the sizes of them how cool all gold and then they've got like the black paneling ones as well actually my friend nick richards did a diy of one of these like type mirrors and it was so good on his instagram it was honestly amazing i'll leave his instagram linked below and have a look at it because it was so good like a budget diy i'm obsessed with this lion's head plant how gorgeous is that they have so much gold detail and stuff this is where carol got the candle that she got for when we moved in the house it's so nice so you literally light your candle and it all lights up and it's navy this little thing and it matches the living room and i love it oh my god look at that little ducky oh my god i love him he's adorable a little squirrel but he's a candle six pound oh my god they actually have such a good home range then they've got like a little honeycomb as well got a little what is he called again a squirrel just bloody said it man then they have like a pink toned home range as well honestly guys this is so beautiful they've got little room sprays look at them gold lion's heads i love them um so cute oh wow no i love him he is beautiful let bad head plant at 14 pound i love it so much color that would go so cute in the office absolutely love the squeaky bean brand i've never seen this before it's a ready eat ready to eat um potato onion tortilla that is so cool i didn't even know they did this they've got the no steak bake there by plant Pi pioneers oh my god i don't know how you say that and then they have some little kind of like bites from um gosh and then they have like a love your veg section so they've got a few variations of meatballs but these look really intriguing six green veg and mozzarella oh no they're not vegan they're vegetarian but still looks very nice if you're into that never seen this brand before um it's mince like a vegan mince for three pound it looks really real low i've never ever seen that brand before then they have like a range of hex sausages as well i've never seen this brand which is future farm and it says future meatball obviously made from plants so they've got the meatball then they also have a mince as well plant-based and then i've seen that they've got sausages as well yeah which again it's a brand that i haven't seen in any other supermarket before so new to me oh look look at that little willies the vegetarian butcher crease so i'm gonna make a start in the garden the d as you can see 
Just gonna do a bit of that cordon off for the dogs still. Might jump in there and do that little bit of grass there. And then just sort the grass out because it's getting way too long for even the dogs, I think. And then hopefully just need to start it really. It's one of them things that we we'll just never bother with. Been delayed and delayed. So crack on this here, I'll take. Never mowed the lawn before, so we shall see. Obviously, turn the lawn mower on. Didn't realise the cable was rather short. So the nip, nip out and get an extension. I just plenty cable on it, thought that'll do. But then our patio goes quite far out, then my grass is. So needed an extension, so start again. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. Okay guys, so it's currently Thursday and I'm running this vlog over to Thursday as well because the come shop with me was an absolute shambles. Both my cameras have broke again. The screw has come out of the back of this one but I'm going to persist and then take them to the shop at the end of the night and hopefully I'll be able to get them fixed. Um, but yeah, we're up bright and early because we have a little job to do for Sean's Nana and then we're going to head out and go for a nice walk with the pups and take them on a picnic. We've got a little lunch bag ready with my water. We're all ready to go. Look how good my skin looks. I did a little routine this morning showing you like what I put on my skin and I just love it. Um, Sean cut all the grass yesterday so it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with that and it means the pups can have a wee in a poo without the grass going up their foofies and their wee wees, you know. But yeah, so I'm just going to bring you along and vlog today as well because obviously yesterday's come shop with me was a bit of a shambles. I didn't get much footage in Sainsbury's and yeah, I feel like the Poundland footage wasn't that good either. So so, I'll bring this along on this one as well. Here he is in his new hoodie. Ooh. Me and Sean have been buying stuff from this website called m, m Direct. Sean got like loads of clothes from them. That hoodie beam on. I got some running trainers which I have on from New Balance. And they were like £25. They were so cheap. It's such a good website. Um, It's such a good website. So, anyway, I need to get a camera battery for you. And I need... What else do I need? I think that's it. Oh, coffee. You took the coffees? Uh, All right, we're ready to go. Okay guys, so I'm vlogging on a phone, which I haven't done in the longest time, so I'm sorry if it's um like not the best, but it should. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Got a dying person with us. Look at it all. So we're in, um, what's this park called? Exhibition Park. And we're having a little picnic. I've just got the pups, the little um, protein pot from Pret. So it had little egg and spinach in it, but now it's got their water in, which they really like. They had a boiled egg each. Oh, Luna. <laughs> Did you get your sandwich? Right, sit. God, this isn't going to plan. Anyway, I've put both of my cameras in the shop. Um, so hopefully I'll hear about that today to see like what the price is going to be. But we're just sitting on a towel, all having a little picnic with Pret. So that's what we're currently up to. Henry's settled down to the idea of a picnic. He's got his egg all over the towel. But he's been having egg and cheese. Oh God, Henry, man, what you got? Leave that. Leave it. But there he is. Oh, well, he was settled. Luna's a bit more unsettled. But it's a lovely day. Sean's looking cute in his little new hoodie. Okay guys, so we're back at home now. The pups are just in the garden. Um, we're just probably going to be in the garden for a bit. I have um, a little segment of a video that I need to film, which is like part of a branded video. So I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, we've had such a gorgeous morning. We like literally went into town and I dropped my two cameras off at a camera store, at a camera shop. Um, and I'm waiting to hear back like for a price and stuff like that. But hopefully you'll be able to fix them both because it'd be really good rather than having to buy a new camera. And I've promised myself when I get these ones fixed, I'm going to really look after them not let them fall and try and be good with them and then we just went around town which was so cute like taking the pups around town we got a pret because of course are me and sean really in town if we don't grab ourselves a little pret absolutely not so we um 
went to Pret and then um, we went to the exhibition park in Newcastle and had a picnic with the pups so I got the pups like boiled eggs from Pret and they had their cheese with them as well which was really nice and then knackered I mean they're playing in the garden at the minute with their little chew toy but they were falling asleep in the car they could hardly keep their eyes open so yeah we've just had such a lovely day and honestly like it's only one o'clock so me and Sean are both like yeah we're gonna get up early and be proactive more often but we'll never do that and not a whole of that story but so far we've had a really lovely day and the sun is out i'm just loving the sun recently like absolutely loving it a little girl haven't we had a good day haven't we haven't we had a nice day in the picnic okay so i don't know if sean cut the grass yesterday so it looks all good for the pups um this fencing which i know a lot of people ask why we've divided the garden and it's purely just because this side of the garden looks absolutely rubbish um obviously sean cut the grass yesterday there so it doesn't look too bad but all of the different levels um which when the pups were tiny we were worried that this wood would like slip and they would hurt themselves and i think this plant here is poison ivory so we need to get that removed and then behind the hut is an absolute mess it's full of like trees which you can see so all of that needs pulled away but yeah we want to get the full garden renovated look at my handsome boy look at my handsome boy but yeah we want to get this full garden renovated because there's like so much potential that we could do with it um so we're hoping to get it done we wanted to get it done this year but i've contacted loads of landscape companies and none of them have got back to it so obviously as soon as i can sort some type of um garden landscape company out to help with like plan and sort the garden then i definitely will but as of now it is what it is but we do want to get the garden hut going sometime soon so we can have a barbecue um especially with the nice weather and being allowed to have six people over we need to start getting the barbecue hut going but yeah luna's got a little chew toy henry's sunbathing look at him he's so handsome cheeky update cheeky update henry's asleep in the shade aren't you Henry? Anyway the electrics went off in our area so the beers are getting warm. Made a bait and sandwich because we've got a gas cooker so we'll just quick lighter on that. Happy days and sun's out boiling so Demi's obviously in the shade. That type of person I'm obviously lapping it up getting rid. Update Demi or not? I think you've covered it. Yeah all objectives all objectives too good stuff okay guys so i'm using the light off my phone to shine myself on sean's phone because we have had no electric since two o'clock today it's currently half nine and it's not due to come on until eleven thirty. so yeah it's been woo look at that wait there it has been manic it's absolutely freezing and we've got candles there over there over there and this is currently how our tea is being served mr sean has his head torch on to, to serve the chinese because we have no nothing luckily our cooker is gas so we were able to light it with a lighter so we could offer our next door neighbors um hot like water if they wanted it or could heat anything up but they had just got themselves something as well the full streets lost electric it's actually been mad hasn't it yeah, it's quite exciting but when it gets chilly it's like uh, yeah it's like we're a bit cold, cold now yeah. um so like at first it was exciting and now it is still a bit like mad experience but at the same time it's like yeah i'm cold <laughs> um so yeah what what has life come to <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we keep checking on Northern Power Grid because it's actually a really good website. They have a map and then they have like everywhere that's currently lost power. And honestly, so many places lose yeah. power. It's mad how many places don't yeah, have I power. Think it was about 10. 10. Power. Yeah. About probably the same like. Like scheduled scheduled it? ones ours is obviously an emergency one this wasn't like scheduled they didn't know it was going to happen um neither did we so it all went off at two o'clock but it was really weird john i need a bit of light well, oh you've got a chicken and thing you? yeah so um it was really weird because at two o'clock all everything started like flickering on and off on and off and we're like what the hell is that and then obviously we spoke to our next door neighbors and theirs had gone off as well and then it came back on at half six because on the website it tells you what time everything's like due to come back on so ours went off at two and it was meant to come back on at five and then they pushed it to half six and it did come on at half six but for 10 minutes and then we lost it all again and then we checked the website again and it says it's not due to come back till half 11 but it could not it might be pushed back after that so we ordered Chinese, so we're going to have that. And then um, we've literally just been... Sean found some power back, power banks 
which we used to had from festivals somehow was still charged in his drawer um so we've managed to get a bit of phone battery out of them and then i was sitting in his car for half an hour to charge my phone as well but yeah i'm absolutely freezing we've got the candles on for a bit of heat sauce but we're going to have our chinese because that was running late as well but we're going to have our chinese and probably go up to bed in the duvet and yeah i think that's going to be the best option because the upstairs of the house heats up better anyway because obviously all heat goes oh, it does heat rise up it must uh, it yeah mm -hmm. Me. um so yeah the heat's been rising up i haven't heard about my cameras yet so i'm presuming i'll hear either tomorrow for a rough coat or monday so yeah just thought i'd give you an update on what our life's been happening haven't haven't done vlogged much because well we haven't really been doing anything we've got no telly like nothing no kettle like it's just mad like electricity i said to sean earlier i know you have gas and you have water so like we're lucky we have the good gas um oven because we'll be able to make a cup back before we go to bed but like i was saying to sean earlier your house is basically just a shell without your electric like you have your water but we haven't got hot water we've only got cold so like without electric your house is just like a shell it's just like a snail a snail shell without the snail that's how i'm describing it anyway i'll show you my chinese when i've got it because it's my favorite chinese in the entire world and i haven't had one in a while and i'm really excited this is our tea set up i have chips um fried rice because they do a vegan chicken one and then like a plum sauce it's lovely i've got my phone there candles lit sean's got his chinese what you got sat here chicken mm. we're gonna have this then go to bed because we're freezing henry's on the sofa and doing us took herself to our room um but yeah we're gonna have this and then i think we're gonna go to bed because it is so cold so i'm currently just editing this video this is going to be the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you on monday for another video bye